And let me tell you, this is great for me, for my fourth parade, the last broadcasting job that hasn't been taken by Draymond Green. So if I could bring over Joe Lankham and Peter Goober, come on, sit on down and let's talk here. Now, when you guys bought the team, Joe, you pointed to that 1975 banner and you said, that's a lonely banner. We want another one. We want some company. Four of them? Can you even reflect on what that means today? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Isn't that what you guys do? Something like that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, it's been, it's a fantastic achievement for these guys, this coaching staff. You know, what's really great about our organization and our team is that we have great continuity. Steve Kerr's been here for eight years now. I mean, Bob Myers, 10 years. I mean, I could go up and down the list. We, and Steph Curry, where is he? 13 years, is that right? Clay Thompson, how many years? 11. Of course it's 11. Draymond, 10. Draymond, 10. So we have incredible continuity, and I think that's what a great, you know, part that makes us so successful. I mean, we couldn't be more proud of, of all of them for what they've done. And this one, to me anyway, I think it means even more than all of them because we came back from the abyss. So Peter Goober put on your Hollywood producer hat. Would anyone have bought the script of the hero is left for dead? His friends rejoin him. They come up for the final battle and they emerge triumphant. The story of 2022. Would anyone have bought that script? Well, if you wrote it, I'm not sure. But anyways, <laughs> I think what we have, we have a great script. We have a great script. We have a great director in Steve. We have an unbelievable cast and Steph in the group. And we have an unbelievable cast of thousands of you as fans who made and willed this team to success. I'm so proud of what you've done. I'm so proud of being a part of it. And guess what? We're going to have a sequel. Yeah! Joe, the people that have supported these great players, the chemistry, camaraderie, and the way they've come together, and in the community, on the court, all throughout the NBA, you wanted to be in the mix, be a model franchise. Is mission accomplished or work to do here? Well, I'll let others be the judge. Um, but I think we're pretty model. What do you think? <laughs> done a great job. We've done a great job. And I'm, I'm really, I mean, I couldn't be happier with everything that, uh, that our players, our staff, everybody's done. It's a remarkable achievement. And like Peter says, we're ready to come back next year and do it again. Peter, finish it off. Chase Center, this was the maiden voyage for the playoffs. 11-1 and one in the building. You wanted it to be the ultimate fan experience. Thrive City packed, the building pulsating, great home record. What did you think of Chase Center on the first time it's been part of the postseason? We here just make hits, only hits. That's our strategy. And this is the beginning of the beginning of many hits, many successes in Chase Center for all of you, brought by all of you, directed and framed by all of them. Let's hope for more, more, more. That's our mantra. Give it up for Joe Lankham and Peter Goober. Let's bring up the president of basketball operations as well as the president of the Warriors. And the great thing about Bob Myers and Brandon Schneider, they both grew up Warrior fans. They're both Bay Area guys. Basketball side and business side and unreal roster this year in terms of the Hall of Famers, the incredible veteran pros, and then the puppies that are growing along the way. What did you think about this group and how they came together? Um, you know, every season is different. And for these guys, m mostly credit to our veterans. Um, I think Steph, Clay, and Draymond, and Andre, when, the, when we were winning before, there were some older guys. And all of a sudden, now they're the, they're the veterans. And to watch them lead and, and win and continue to build this organization, move it in the right direction for me is, um, it's gratifying. I mean, I, we get to work, us, this group together, we get to see each other every day. Um, for you fans, th this is a group to be proud of, not just because we won, but because of the people that they are. You would love all these guys, um, I know I do, and we work really hard to bring these things back to you, and we're so happy that you get to celebrate it with us today. Thank you very much.
Brandon, 20 years with the Warriors, your first year as president, bringing this team back from the pandemic. How did Chase Center work out? How was the fan experience? How great was Dub Nation? Give us your thoughts on the year. Well, we all know it was a special year. I'll let you guys answer. How was Chase Center this year? We got the best team in the world. We got the best fans in the world. We've known that for years. Seeing it at Chase Center, seeing it in Thrive City. Thousands of people outside the building every night. Uh, unbelievable. Thank you so much. Bob, when you look for Warriors, and you mentioned the four Hall of Famers kind of leading the way, what are the characteristics you want? Because you bring in Otto Porter Jr., Nemanja Bielitsa, GP2. You draft Moody and Kaminga. We've got James Wiseman, Jordan Poole and his development. How did you see the characteristics of certain guys fitting in the mix? You know, it's hard. We don't get them all right. But um, people, I mean, this may not land well, but we want people we can lose with because you can win with anybody, but can you stand losing with, with people? And, and I remember when we lost back in 2014, the year before we won it, I had an old client of mine, I used to be an agent, Jermaine O'Neal called me and he said, do not break this team up. Do not break up Steph, Clay, Draymond, Andre. And it told me something like, they, he, I said, why is that? He said, they know how to lose. And he said, there's ways to lose and there's ways to win. And so I look for guys that in their worst moments, they're still good people. And I'm so proud of the group. And you saw it this year. This is not a team that was technically supposed to win, but they got it done. And um, a lot of it is the character, who they are. And obviously all of them are really, really, really talented basketball players. Brandon, finish it off in terms of as a Bay Area kid growing up and seeing this team and the arc from we believe to we belong to we're the best to we hit the bottom to now we're back. It's pretty good. It's not a bad run. And the run is not done. <laughs> that last part I like a lot. No, look, it, it's been amazing. Growing up in the Bay Area, been with the Warriors for 20 years. You know, in those early days, we were trying to make the playoffs. Now what do we got? Six finals appearances in eight years? Four championships? Uh, and as Bob said, not done. Let's keep it going. Give it up for Bob Myers and Brandon Schneider. Let's hear from Steve Kerr. So you said this championship might be the most surprising. What, what surprised you? What are the things that stick out for 2022 if you're thinking about it down the road? Well, the reason it was a surprise is we kind of stunk the last two years. I don't know if you noticed that. So to be able to bounce back from where we were is uh, pretty incredible and uh, testament to these guys. Just uh, incredible fortitude and uh, amazing mentoring from, from our older guys to our younger guys and just a, a beautiful, beautiful mix. Talk about coaching a humble superstar in Stephen Curry. So it reminds you of Tim Duncan. Steph this year even decided to miss free throws to feel like one of the guys. Was that his idea or your idea? So he missed one, and you're going to say he missed, uh, <laughs> missed free throws? What is it about coaching Steph? Because he does fit in with this incredible group, doesn't elevate himself above. And when your leaders from Steph and Clay and Draymond and Andre are so much part of the mix, it makes the team really tough to beat. Yeah, I mean, it, it, with, with Steph, it's the combination of the, the incredible talent and the humility, and he just makes everybody in the room want to win for him, with him. Uh, and then the whole group, I, I thought, you know, one of the guys who was totally unheralded this year was Andre Higadala because of what he meant uh, to our guys, to our younger guys, but even to our older guys, because this stuff is... Not easy. You know, it's stressful going through a whole year, and Andre really helped us uh, to get through it all. But it was a great mix, a really good mix of, of vets and young guys and, uh, and coaches and front office. We, it was, this is truly a, an organizational success this year, top to bottom. It was beautiful just to work with everybody. Five championships as a player, four championships as a coach, one for the other thumb? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for right, Steve thanks. Kerr.